this morning I thought I would have a uh, final video to show you what our uh, tribute cup would look like as a final result however as it was spinning on the um, spindle it was not setting so after looking at that I was looking at the um, epoxy mixture I realized that I had used way too much hardener in the mixture it's supposed to be a one-to-one -one mixture and it was nothing but a big ball ball of gloop on my cup so over the last couple days I've been attempting to um, uh, repair it I've slowly been getting it to uh, harden and do repairs I've almost got it so this is an update video on where I'm at on the repair process so it just goes to show you a lot of people will tell you that it cannot be repaired you either need to scrape it down to the base cup get everything off clean it up start it all over um, this is my attempt at repairing and continue on with the cup process um, so I've done I scraped off all the excess with a popsicle stick of the layer that was on there put a layer of good epoxy mixture on there and let it set and the result from that is little blotches of where the residual was still on there so what I'm going to do now is get those blotches off with uh, acetone sand it down again get a real good sanding try to get as much of that off as I can and do another uh, coat of epoxy and hopefully that should get any any residual off I've had it do it let it do its full hardening um, mixture on there so hopefully that will get it all final set but you never know it may end up having to result in taking this all the way down we shall see so now I've got the cup here acetone on a rag wiping off as much of the excess that's still on the cup trying to scrub it off so what will happen is as the epoxy will set it'll start to bubble through the layer of epoxy it's just a really sticky mess and it's more noticeable on this upper lip from when it was setting for the last five days got as much as we can off with the acetone scrub now we're going to take it over and sand it off all right so now we're just going to give it a good sanding probably going to go a little bit deeper than usual but this has got a really good coat of epoxy on it already so going a little deeper is not going to hurt anything All right, 
that took a lot more sanding than I thought it would. But now we finally have it to the point where I'm happy with it. I think we've got all the excess residue off, all the bad stuff off, unsealed epoxy. And I think we're ready to put it on the turner and add a final, hopefully a final layer at this point, but only time will tell when, once that part sets. So we'll see you on the turner. All right, so we got it on spindle, getting it all wiped down with alcohol. As you can see, all the dust is coming off. Don't forget all your lips and edges. All right, so let's see what we got. on got the whole thing so now it's just a wait and see game to see if we got all the excess moisture out of it from the failed coating I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun here in a little bit but I always like to give it a couple minutes to let it sit let all the uh, bubbles come to the surface I know it's not a big coat but I have seen a couple times where you hit it too soon and they there's still some too deep. So um, hope everyone's following along at this point with this one because it's been quite a long time since I've made this, this mistake of not measuring properly. Uh, unfortunately, something went wrong with my scale. Not sure what. Possible I may need a new scale. So we'll see what happens. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.